Hi everyone, I've been getting a lot of questions about this new Affinity version 2 app and a lot of people want to know how different is it from the old app? Is it a totally different interface? Should I switch? So we're going to cover all those things in this video so you can make the decision about whether or not you are ready to switch. And I say whether you're ready to switch because I do think it's inevitable that everyone's going to have to because when apps do this, the older versions aren't as supported and as the iOS updates, it probably will become harder and harder to use the old app. So it's kind of a question of when are you ready to update? Let's start out here on the gallery page. So when you download the app, there won't be any artwork in it yet. And you can change that by either pressing new to create some new artwork. And of course you can choose your size over here. You can choose the dimensions, the DPI, the unit. This is really similar to the old layout in Affinity. So anyone who's used Affinity before is very familiar with this. One thing I like over here that is something we all love in Procreate is a preset, meaning if you use the same size over and over, you can create a preset so you don't have to type in that info anymore. So down here on the bottom, you can just press preset and then give it a name. I'm just going to call this one test. And that's going to be all the features for this preset that we created. So if we want to change it, of course, We'll just change that. Maybe we want to work in pixels or meters or whatever size you want to work in, create a new preset and name it. And that way, if you use the same thing over and over, it's really easy. So I do love that feature. I'll be putting all my favorite presets in here pretty soon. So of course, if you're not ready to create a new document, you can open something that you've already created. So what I did is I went to my older Affinity app and just pulled some documents in that I'm working on right now. So you can do that by saving it to your cloud storage and then in the new app you press open and then just download that new file and it'll pop up here in your gallery. I also like some swiping and quick menu features that they've added. One of those is swipe to the left and you can press this to rename you can press this to duplicate the document, that's really easy, or you can press this to save it. So as many of us know, in Affinity, you do need to save your documents. They're not automatically saved on your device. So once you're done working, you may wanna go ahead and press save. One thing they've really improved here is the projects or folders feature. So in the old Affinity, you had to actually create a new project and then it would pop way down here and you had to drag it to the top. It was kind of a mess and the more documents you have, the more complicated it would be. So now you literally just drag and drop and now those are in a folder. So you can open that folder up. There are all those documents. We can swipe left on that folder just like we did on projects to rename it. I'll just call that new for now. And if we want to take something out of this project, again, swipe left and there's the little move out of the project button. So I really like that. This was much more complicated in the old version, so I'm really happy with this new projects feature. I don't really use any of this other stuff, templates or samples. These are like pre-made things from Affinity. The help section can sometimes be helpful if you're looking for a specific tool. Of course, you can change your preferences, which this is all really similar to the old Affinity, so I'm not gonna dig into that. So let's go back to the gallery, which is called Live Docs, and I'm just gonna open one of these patterns. I want to show you that most everything is pretty much the same, including the most important button, which is this question mark. You press that question mark and it tells you what everything is. So if you get mixed up, if you can't find something, you can still press on that. It's telling you what's up here, how to find the pixel persona, the vector persona, all that stuff is pretty basic. One thing that's changed that I use all the time is the snapping feature. 
So it used to be over here, so I'm always going to over here to use it, but it's actually up here now. So for anyone who uses that snapping feature a lot, probably everyone who makes patterns, just note that that's up here. There's a few things I like though. This zoom option, you can zoom to fit the whole thing, zoom to the width of the image, zoom to 200%. So there's a lot of different zoom options. One last cool thing that they've added in is this quick menu. So just hold for a second and then release. And you'll see all of these options that personally I use all the time, like duplicate something, copy something, cut, delete, group things, rasterize things. Um, there's some new ones like solo. Let me take you into my layers panel so I can show you what one of these features does. So let's say we're looking at this bird and we want to see just that bird so we can really focus on it for a minute. So I did that long press to open up this menu, solo, and then that's all I can see. And it's kind of like a focus mode, so I do really like this option. If I go back to this, we could duplicate this little bird. And then when I click back on my layers panel, it kind of undoes that solo feature. Let's say I want to delete that bird long press, delete. So it's way faster than how this was done before. You had to find something in the layers panel and delete it. Now I could literally just go through long press, delete. So I could more quickly make changes to my pattern just because they added in that little quick menu. So now that you kind of see that the interface isn't incredibly different. The design looks different, but most of the tools are exactly sit the same in the same place. So someone who's using the old app is not going to be confused watching a tutorial with an older version. But of course, we all like the new pretty version of things. So for me personally, I'm happy to switch. I think it's working better overall. There are less glitches. I know I'm gonna to have to move eventually, so for me, I don't like to wait. I like to just go ahead and make that switch. So personally, I would go ahead and do it if I were you, but I don't think you have to. I think that people can wait a little while and they'll be fine to use the old app. So if you have any more questions about this new version or you're having trouble finding something that you used to use, just leave a comment on this video and I will take a look. I'll see you next time. Bye.